after dideoxyribonucleotides have been used for chain elongation for each of the four nucleotides, DDATP, DDGTP, DDTTP, and DTCTP. These four samples can be run in four lanes of our gel. The shortest fragments will run the greatest distance from the well where the samples were loaded. Three bands will appear in the lane run with adenine, corresponding to the three separate size fragments which end in adenine. Because adenine is located at three separate spots in this chain, the chain elongation stopped when DDATP was inserted. And so there are three separate bands corresponding to the three separate lengths of the adenine ending fragments. Since there are three sites in the DNA chain being sequenced where thymine is located, there are three different fragments in the thymine lane because the dideoxyribonucleotide DDTTP stopped chain elongation at three separate sites corresponding to those three sites where thymine is located in the chain. In the same way, there are three bands in the guanine lane and three bands in the cytosine lane. Each of these fragments has a length which does not match that of other fragments in other lanes, since the length of the fragment is determined by the nucleotide where the fragment ends. And so, we can map the DNA chain because there is one band in one of the four lanes corresponding to each of the nucleotide positions, but only one band. Thus, the use of the dideoxyribonucleotides, DDATP, DDTTP, DDGTP, and DTCTP during chain elongation has allowed the termination of a DNA fragment at each of the four nucleotides, which then allows us to map where each of the four nucleotides is located, because each fragment has a length of its own corresponding to the nucleotide where the fragment ends.